In this video, the main components of the triaxial apparatus are explained. This is a photograph of the apparatus which you will be using for the test. You can pause the video now and take a moment to identify the main components of the device setup. The triaxial loading frame is the strain controlled loading machine. The loading frame and the base pedal are used to apply the vertical load on the specimen. By moving the base pedestal at a constant speed, a constant rate of axial strain can be applied to the specimen. The applied load that is acting on the specimen is measured using the load cell. The axial displacement of the specimen is measured using a linear variable differential transformer, also known as an LVDT. The data acquisition system has been pre-calibrated to measure change in load and displacement based on the voltage changes. You will be using this digital readout to record the sensor readings. The digital readout is also connected to a computer that will allow for automatic logging of sensor readings during the test. Next, the triaxial cell assembly is explained. There are three connecting rods with wing nuts that hold the cylinder in place between the cell cap and base. Loosen the wing nuts of the connecting rod and move the rods away from the center to disassemble. Note that the bottom of each rod has a tapered nut and the larger side of the tapered nut is aligned to the outside of the cell. The washer should always be at the top when tightening the wing nut. In order to disassemble the cell, loosen the wing nuts and take the connecting rod apart from the cell. At the center of the cell cap, there is a vertical loading shaft. The wing nut of the loading shaft can be loosened to move it freely. Make sure that the wing nut is tightened prior to the removal of the cell cap. Take the cylinder out from the base. Inside the cell, you will find a top cap with two O-rings. 